Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is Lithic Metals. Welcome to the lab. What I have here is a pan full of flower gold. Uh, I had a vial. I threw it in the pan because I wanted to see if I can wash some of the impurities out. Um, so I'm going back and forth getting some of the heavies, and I threw it in the beaker. And you can see how the, the water is uh, cloudy, dirty. So we're pulling some dirt off of that flower gold. And uh, I decanted that off, and I'm drying it right in the same beaker here. You can still see there's uh, quite a bit of black sands in there. Uh, I, I, they're heavy, though. I, I couldn't pan them out as easy as I thought it was going to be. Uh, so I got it all dry. I'm going to weigh it up here. Uh, I think it ends up being about 10 grams. Yeah, look at all that. But a lot of visible stuff in there that needs to come out. All right, so we got about 10 grams of material, 10.1. Uh, so that means we're going to need about, it's a little overkill, but about 30 grams of silver to inquart this gold with. I want to, by inquarting, I'm making an alloy of 25, approximately 25% gold. So we'll get this melted down here. I'm going to speed a lot of this footage up because, uh, you know, it's, it'll save us a lot of time. <laughs> All right, so I got it melted down. I'm going to pour it into some cold water here. All right. Man, look at that dish. Yikes. Yeah. All that black gunk, that slag, is all the, the sand that turned basically into glass and clung to the glazing, to the borax that's in the dish. So all that's gone. So we took a little loss there, but... All right, there's our inquarted gold. Looks like silver at this point. And uh, we're going to put some... What's this? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Distilled water in here. And I'm going to add some nitric acid. All right. And that nitric acid is going to attack this material and start pulling out those base metals. It's going to pull out the copper, silver, and other things clinging in there. Uh, so you can see it's changing colors. The, the darkness is somewhat of the silver oxiding oxides. And it's also the gold being exposed. As the, you see the solutions turning green, that's that mix of silver and copper. There's other trace elements in there, but that's the predominant metals that we're looking at is the silver and copper here. So our solution, or our uh, reaction slowed down, so I just added a bit more nitric acid. Obviously, it fired it back up. I'm going to keep going until uh, it doesn't react anymore. Look at that. I, okay, I let that cool overnight. And it needs to be rehydrated. That's all silver crystals in there now. Uh, silver nitrate crystals. Uh, so I added some distilled water. It dissolves in water real easy. Uh, but now I'm going to rinse that off very well to make sure I get as much of that silver out of there as possible. Gonna give it another rinse here. I really want to get in all the pores of that gold sponge that we're looking at. It already has a decent color. All right, pour that off. All right, here we go. We're gonna add some hydrochloric acid and nitric acid, and we're gonna dissolve this material and put it into solution. This the hydrochloric acid and nitric acid yeah, makes up a concoction we call aqua regia and that is what we use to put gold into solution and here it is you can see the solutions getting a bit more rich a heavier color there might still be some impurities trace impurities in there still that that we're kind of looking at and basically i i cooked it down and I wanted to make sure that I burned off all the free nitrates that were in that solution. Uh, so once I feel confident with that, uh, you see that I just sprayed some water in there and that's a reaction I got to when the solution cooled down, it stayed nice and clear. I added water. Here I'm adding a little tap water. Usually I would use distilled water. At this point I'm using tap water because it's got trace elements of chlorine and whatnot in it. That'll react to the silver or make the silver react actually 
And that's what we see here. That cloudiness is uh, uh, silver that actually kind of came, silver chlorides that came out of solution. So here we're filtering that off, and that's going to leave us with a nice and clean solution. All right, I, I put some ice in there to cool it down because we're about to perform an exothermic reaction. So I want to start with cool. But first we're going to test it uh, with some stannous chloride. We want to make sure, oh, there it is. That proves that we have gold in solution here. And we want to do that because later on, we're going to test it again to prove that we have all the gold out. So here I'm about to add our uh, sodium metabisulfite. And I kind of have it pre-measured, so I, I kind of know how much needs to go in there. So I'm just going to dump it in. You see as it dissolves, it starts to react with the gold in solution and drop that gold out. That's That black is actually gold powder that you're seeing coming out of solution. So here we're going to test it again with our stannous. And clear, nice and clean. All right, so we have all our gold out of solution. I let it settle. Now we're going to decant that off and uh, start our first rinse procedure. All right, so this is just distilled water. I'm gonna get it up to a boil. And uh, I, wanna, I wanna make sure all that old solution is pulled out of those pores of that sponge. All right, so we got another rinse. Here, right here we have some more, some hydrochloric acid. I didn't, um, that's to make sure that uh, all the little bits that are clinging on are removed and all right we're back to another distilled water rinse off that hydrochloric acid I, I usually do that uh, a couple times but I think I just left it once in here yeah and now we're gonna go to ammonia this is an ammonia rinse uh, since I've added this to my uh, rinse procedure Oh man, my gold has just been getting so clean. It is uh, a, a big improvement in my rinse procedure over what I was doing a few years ago. All right, so I I, I poured off the uh, ammonia, and that's distilled water there that I was rinsing it. You could still see some of that ammonia reacting, forming those bubbles. Here's another water rinse, just to make sure that's all out of there. All right, and I just poured in some... Uh, Oh, that's one more water rinse. <laughs> all right, I want to make sure all that's that all that stuff's off of there. All right, here we have hydrochloric acid and some fresh nitric acid, and we're putting that sponge back into solution. This is about an hour's time, busted down into about 15 seconds here. Uh, yes, yeah, so it went. It looks really nice. It looks like a fast reaction at that pace. I love it. All right, we got some good color here. I. Uh, I evaporated off that solution quite a bit, so I'm going to rehydrate it. Add some more uh, tap water to see if I get any of those silver chlorides to drop out of solution again. It looked pretty clean, but I let it sit overnight, and then uh, we're going to filter it off here again. And now we have a very nice, clean solution. Again, with the ice, exothermic reaction is coming up when we add that SMB. Let's test it with the stannous chloride. There we go. We know we're going to get a, a nice reaction here. It's very important. You want to test your stannous chloride. I know there's gold in there, but it's very important because when I go to test to make sure I drop all the gold out of solution, I want to make sure that this stannous chloride is working properly. So that's mainly why I do it, uh, or mainly why you would want to do it beforehand. All right, we dropped in the... SMB again, drop that gold back out of solution, retest, came up clean. I'm going to let that sit overnight, there we go, and decant that solution. All right, and here we go with our final rinse procedure. It seems like a lot going through all these rinses, but uh, it's really necessary. Here it is, distilled water. Get that old stuff off of there. Let it cool back down, filter it off. I should say decant it off and here I think we're gonna go with uh, yeah some hydrochloric acid some HCl give that another quick boil get in all those pores and decant 
back to uh, a few rinses with distilled water. Get it up to a boil. Yeah, it's really looking clean already. But here it comes. We're going to add, uh, next we're going to add the ammonia rinse. Get that up to a boil. Yeah, I put in a lot of ammonia on this one. I love those bubbles. It is so nice and squeaky clean afterwards. Um, when I first learned about the ammonia rinse, I was told by a lot of smart refiners that possibly it attacks uh, coppers and platinum group metals. I don't know. I, I don't have the, the background in that to, to define how the ammonia reacts with those platinum group metals, but what I do believe and what I see uh, in my results is that it scrubs that gold clean. You know, like when you use ammonia on your windows, it just gets in there and cleans that old solution out. And that old solution is really what's going to be carrying any uh, traces of base metals in that sponge. So, all right, we finished with some more distilled water. So, get them up to boiling and, uh, yeah, just keep rinsing that, that ammonia off until it's nice and clean. And then after that, I'm going to dry it right in this beaker. And I just keep shaking around. It takes a while. It's real low heat. And once the gold quits sticking to the beaker itself, that's pretty much when I know it's dry. It takes a bit of time. You want to rush it, but you don't. You just let it do its thing. Low heat. All right, once it's nice and dry, we'll get a weight on it. Yeah, here we go. We're all set up. And ah, seven grams on the button. So we started with ten. Yeah, so we lost three grams of material. I think a lot of that came out in our glaze in the original melt dish that we used. And uh, I think that was pretty visible there. But here, let's melt this gold powder in a shot here. We're going to get it melted down, pour it into some cold water, make our shot. And then I have a nice way to uh, store the gold. I don't have to worry about it blowing or knocking around or anything. People ask me all the time, why don't you just pour it into a bar and stuff like that. Or, um, when I pour stuff into shot, it just makes it easier to weigh out the exact amount that I need later on. All right, and going from that precipitated gold to the gold shot, we shouldn't have any losses in material here. All right, I did a good job. I didn't leave any in the melt dish. So we're all set. All right, there we got it. Seven fresh grams of three nines fine or better, pure gold. Well, that wraps up another fine experiment. Thanks for joining me. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Jeff. This is Lithic Metals. I'll see you next time.